hello viewers i welcome you all from hldf tech channel and today we are going to talk about the installation of exchange server 2019 in an on-premise environment exchange server is uh, a product of microsoft that is basically used for mailing purpose and its beauty is that it can easily be uh, configured or integrated with microsoft sharepoint and microsoft dynamics of which I have already made uh, uh, many videos and they are available in my channel. After uh, creation of Exchange Server, we will also integrate it with uh, our own premise uh, SharePoint and Dynamics as well. So let's start. It's very easy and we, I will carry out only four slides. Okay. First of all, if you talk about the prereqs, uh, there are uh, domain controllers for our Windows Server 2012, 2016, or 2019. If your domain controller or your Active Directory is uh, residing on these operating systems at least 2012, 2016 or 2019, then uh, it is compatible. After that, the operating system support is that you may install Windows Server 2019. Right now, we will be installing our 2019 uh, setup uh, I have prepared. I will install this uh, in 2019, but it is equally same for 2016 as well. Uh, net framework support 7.2 uh, support is uh, available for that so uh, these are the uh, basic requirements after that you must have uh, visual studio at least visual studio 2013 c++ redistributable table package and you have uh, unified communication manage api ucma 4.0 you can easily install or uh, download these from your google and there is no uh, limitation they are available as open source and can easily be downloaded download and you must your server uh, may have uh, data server updates for security fixes okay so let's prepare the environment first of all we will install the prereqs and after that we will install windows pre uh, features okay so let's start uh, this is my server which i have uh, just made and joined the domain uh, its name is EXCH that is short form of exchange and the, these are the prereqs <coughs> we will install a redistributable package to 2013 it will also take few minutes okay after set setup successful we are going to install the unified communication it is a UCMA runtime setup exe and uh, it will also take few minutes okay fine now uh, unified communication manage api 4.02 runtime has been installed okay the prerequisites have been installed now we are going to install windows features for that we are going to execute powershell with none as administrator or elevated rights and uh, here we are going to copy this command and install it here after that we are going to install these components that are windows features okay thus uh, it is success and restart required is no now we are going to install windows features okay now uh, as you are seeing that our required windows features have been installed successfully uh, after installing windows rules and features uh, restart required is no but as a recommended practice that i usually follow i restart the server so let's restart the server quickly and till that time it's restarting let's see what we have to do next we have uh, installed prereqs, we have installed windows features and we have executed this command. After that we are going to prepare the active directory. For uh, preparing active directory we have to mount the exchange server uh, as a ISO image in a drive. Then we are going to uh, execute these steps. Let's continue. Now uh, I will, I have already attach the ISO image here it's in D drive okay so what I will do okay uh, we are going to open this directory in which exchange ISO image is there 
the shortcut to open uh, the command prompt directly here is to press your shift button right click and open command prompt here okay the command prompt has been opened here with the d directory file and going to paste it it will take few minutes okay after few minutes you are seeing here that prerequisite analysis has been completed successfully and active direct directory schema has also been completed now we are going to install uh, execute another line here that is this one here this in this uh, inverted commas you have to write your domain okay for example my domain is hltf.tech so i am going to add hltf here so uh, this is the organization name or the domain name of your on premise domain rest this will be same okay now uh, requisite files are being copied here you are seeing that uh, the installation is successful the last command is this one I'm going to add them in description box so there's no need to worry uh, just copy from my description and you can paste it so this is the last file to be executed in order to uh, prepare old domains that are part of this uh, organization here you can see that uh, the exchange setup has been completed successfully all the commands that were required to be executed on the command prompt are uh, completed before proceeding further let me tell you one more thing that if you uh, change directly in some versions of windows server 2019 that is data center as well uh, if you change your directory to d it doesn't change okay it doesn't change to d for that purpose you have to do an alternate uh, method uh, those who those viewers who are facing this problem uh, you just uh, drag and drop <coughs> the required directory to that command prompt and after that you execute that command after that again uh, the command prompt will go into the uh, default directory that will be c and uh, so for uh, executing each command that is these three commands in d directory these three commands uh, you have to uh, manually drag and drop this here so that you may execute that particular command in d drive that is your iso image of your exchange server okay <coughs> so this uh, hint is just for the users who are facing this problem okay now we will uh, open this and we are going to install the setup now i will click next after that uh, necessary files will be copied here we will click next on the introduction page we will accept the license we will click next we are also going to install mailbox role and we are going to click next okay here i am going to install a separate drive for installation of exchange server because it is always recommended that you uh, install a separate drive for installation of exchange server because exchange server doesn't actually have its own database okay it saves all the values in xml file and that for for that purpose it generates a lot of logs the log files always increase to uh, very uh, uh, fast or rapidly for that purpose it is always recommended that you install a separate drive for your uh, exchange server uh, my pc details and here i am going to click on new volume okay uh, here uh, microsoft doesn't install uh, any installation files in root directory so you have to make a new folder here okay this is my uh, new folder and i'm going to click next i'm going to click next after that the prerequisites and prerequisite analysis will be carried out 
once the prerequisite analysis is carried out the install button will be enabled and you are now clear to go for installing uh, Microsoft Exchange Server and it will take some few uh, minutes or even half an hour depending on your server's configuration okay viewers here you can see that the setup has been completed and uh, all the requisite files have been uh, installed successfully now we are going into if we search here exchange uh, you can click here and from here you can go into the administrative center of exchange first time it will take some time in loading files So this is exchange admin center here you have you have to log in using the account that were used for installation so here you can see viewers the exchange admin center has been logged in successfully these are all the recipients mailbox groups here you can create groups resources contacts shared migration so for creating a user mailbox you have to go and click on new here you can see that all the users who are the part of my uh, active directory and my domain can be seen here you can quickly make any of the user uh, here and you can uh, assign him any options so viewers thank you very much for watching this video and in my upcoming video i'm going to integrate exchange server 2019 with sharepoint and dynamic crm environment in an on-premise version okay